Hi, Rick here from Marv Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Right, okay, so now before we fly for the first time, ideally what we want to do is we want to calibrate a couple of the sensors. So the first one I mentioned earlier was the IMU. This is what tells the craft what, which is flat so it knows how to hover properly and the other one is the compass calibration which is what tells the craft what way is north so it knows what direction it's facing um, now typically the craft will actually tell you if you need to actually calibrate these so this is more of a precautionary thing or if you experience any only uh, any unusual flying characteristics so the first thing we want to do is we want to um, Plug it up up here onto its main menu, as you'll see you have all these settings which we'll go over shortly. But we want to scroll down to the bottom, as you can see there it says sensors. And then you now see we have the two types of sensors, accelerometer and gyroscope. So accelerometer is the IMU. Now as you can actually see, they're both, whoops, sorry, just get out of the glare. You can actually see that they're both in the... Um, they're both in the uh, the green anyway, but we're just going to do it anyway. So the first thing we need to do is you can see you've got your two options there for calibrating. So calibrate compass, up to click on the IMU, and you've got calibrate IMU. So we'll do the IMU first. I might have to put the tablet down for doing this. I'll try and keep it all in shot. So first thing I want to do, calibrate IMU. So we do that. Now, it will give you on-screen prompts for doing each part of the calibration. Uh, so, so it says calibrate the craft as shown. Now, as you can see there, it's actually showing you with the props off. This is actually a very good um, practice. There's no reason why the motors will start, but it's always good practice to remove them. So the first thing we will do, we will remove the props. Now to remove them, it's quite simple. You just pinch the motor with your fingers and you just push the prop down if you twist it the wrong way, the prop doesn't come off. Twist the right way and the prop just simply springs off. Now, as you have left and right handed threads, you will notice that two props will ping off one way and two will ping off the other. This is always good practice. No reason why the prop should start on their own, but let's, uh, let's not tempt fate. So, I'm going to try and do this because I might have to um, keep dropping the tablet as I move the craft around. So we've got that, so we can see uh, aircraft is power on, do not run the motors. That's pretty obvious, but let's face it, it's a big customer base that buys these. Uh, so we just want to click on start. As you can see, it's calibrating it on the flat and level. Just now, while this is happening, do this on like a kitchen counter or something, so there's no chance of it moving. Next one is to put it on its side. If you look for the orientations as well, so I'm going to have to try and... This is not the way to do it, but I'm trying to hold it and do this at the same time. But it might be worth getting someone to do it. So put it on its side. Let that calibrate. As you now see, swap it over to the other side. See if we can get it to balance again. This is working out not too bad. I thought I'd have to hold it. And you'll see, calibrating. And then we put it on its, uh, let's put it on its nose first. I think I'm gonna have to hold it this time. If you're not holding it steady enough, it'll just not complete. I think I'm gonna have to Oh, no, there we go. That is more fluke than anything else. You'll notice during it, I don't know if you're noticing, the lights are flashing, and then we need to put it, oops, we need to put it on its, we're gonna fluke it again and get it to stand up. Probably not. You're gonna have to use my finger or something. Let's try that. This is not ideal at all. <laughs> So we can hold it steady enough for this to complete. And there we go, put it on its back. What it's doing is why we're doing all these different axes is because the IMU has got multiple axes. So it's going to do each axis individually to know what it's completely flat. Now, if for whatever reason that that does not complete properly, basically just start from scratch. You may even need to shut the app down and start all over again. But you can now see, although it didn't need calibrated before, do you remember the little dots? If I move this in, hopefully we're still in focus. Uh, they're much smaller now, which is good. So the next one we need to do now is the compass. Now, 
I'm going to be quite clear about this. You do not do this inside. This is like an outdoor because compasses are, are affected by electromagnetic interference. So it's important you're not around anything electrical or anything like that. So you get yourself outside, not in the street, because there's like power lines under the street and stuff, or in your back garden. You need to go out really somewhere like down your local, down your local park or out into a field where there's obviously nobody about. And it's a basic, it's a similar thing, but we're going to be rotating the craft, so I will need to probably put my tablet down. I hope you can still make it out as I do it. So again, we're on to there. We're going to click on calibrate compass. It says uh, start, uh, press start to calibrate. Now it's a similar thing. We're going to get images on. So I'll try and describe them if you can't see them. So the first one is we're going to hold the craft flat and then just rotate it round. And when you're finished rotating, this picture should change. Right, and then it shows you onto its side. Again, look for the orientations. Obviously, I will be doing this all over again outside before I fly the craft. And that is it. As you can see, you get a tick. It's gone now, but there was a tick there. Again, if it gets an error, it probably means you're near something. You may think you're standing. I've done it often enough. You're in the middle of a field. There's nothing around, but unbeknown to you, there's something buried in the soil underneath that's metal and can interfere with it. I hope you found that video informative. I am an independent dealer and I do need your support. You can either purchase your products if you're in the UK via the link in the description or you can use my DJI affiliate link if you are not. Uh, I also have a Patreon page so you can donate from as little as a dollar a month, even just join for a few months if you found this video was helpful and you feel like giving me a little reward. Uh, as I'm an independent dealer, I do need your business. Uh, so fly safe and uh, tune back in for the next video.